Hi, today I'm going to show you how to rearrange a formula where we need to apply two inverses to the formula. Uh, before you start this one, make sure you've watched the video on rearranging the formula where you only need to do one inverse, as these ones are here are a little bit harder to do. So let's have a look at example one. So this time we need to make x the subject of the formula m equals 4x plus 2p. So what we're trying to do is get a formula for x. So we have a formula which says x equals something. So first of all then, what we need to do is swap the left hand side and the right hand side of the formula over. This makes things easier to do, so we're moving things to the right hand side of the formula. So on our first line, rewrite it as 4x plus 2p equals m. So all we need to do now is do our inverses so we can make x the subject. So if you look on your left hand side of the formula we need to see what is happening to x. First of all it's being multiplied by 4 and then we're adding on 2p. So we need to do the inverses in reverse order. In other words we need to get the do the opposite which is furthest away from the x term which is the plus 2p. So we need to do the opposite to that one first of all. So to get rid of the plus 2p we need to do the opposite which is to take 2p off both sides. So on the left hand side this will leave us with 4x and on the right hand side we're going to write that as m minus 2p. So finally then we just need to get rid of the 4 so x is being multiplied by the 4 so if we do the opposite which is to divide by 4 so that will get rid of the 4 off the left hand side and leave us with x so we just need to think now how we'd write this divide by 4 in algebra and you do that by writing it as a fraction like so so we have now made x the subject so let's move on to example 2. So this time we need to make A the subject of the formula k equals AC over 3. So again, swap the left hand side and the right hand side around. So rewrite it as AC over 3 equals k. So let's have a look what's happening to A because we need to make A the subject. So first of all it's being multiplied by C and then we're dividing by 3. So again do the opposites in reverse order. So let's get rid of the divide by 3 first of all. So the opposite is to multiply by 3 on both sides. So that will get rid of the 3 and leave us with AC. So if we times the K by 3, how would we write that in algebra? We write it as 3K. So we've got one final inverse to do. So A is now being multiplied by C. So if we do the opposite, which is to divide by C. So divide both sides by C. So on the left hand side that will leave us with A. So how do we write this in algebra again? Well, I just got to remember to write it as a fraction when you do divides. And there we go. So we've now made A the subject of the formula. Thanks for watching.